Hey guys, Jess here, and welcome to Minecraft Diaries. Now, in the last episode, we went underneath the well at Picaro Village, and we discovered that Lord Bert and Lord Luke, the lords of Picaro Village and Brightport, were underneath there, and they were in Shadow Knight Altars, and that was really scary because after a while of trying to wake them up, I was confronted by Jeffrey, one of the jury of nine, and he tried to take me to Zane. It was like crazy, but once we mentioned his daughter, he let us go, and for that, I am eternally grateful to him for that. He didn't have to, but he did. Um, so now we are here at Lucinda's cottage in the woods. She put like barrier magics over this place so nobody can find us. Um, and maybe that's why Azura hasn't shown up. I mean, it's a little weird. I think Garth is waiting to go outside the barrier right now, but she hasn't found us. We thought she was going to be here in the morning and it's already late afternoon the next day. So we're a little concerned right now. Lord Luke woke up, but Lord Bert hasn't. So hopefully Azure will be able to help us wake him up. And I don't know. Anyway, I'm just sitting here with Dante. And how are you feeling, Dante? Lord Afmao, this alliance, it scares me. Why does it scare you? History has taught us that any time villages come together, there has always been conflict, not within the villages themselves, but against others. Though we are doing this to protect ourselves and those we care about, I just have this bad feeling. After all, that's the way the king, Lady Irene, defeated became- That's the way the king that Lady Irene defeated became king. It just irks me. So he became king through alliances? Uh, I see. Maybe. I'm hoping- this time will be different. I hope so, too. We actually intend to make it different. I mean, if I'm the creator of this alliance, then I wouldn't turn any, like, evil or anything like that, Dante. Don't worry about it. Malachi, are you sleeping? You sleep a lot during the day. That's really interesting. Um, let's see. Lawrence, are you keeping an eye out, too? Hmm. What's on your mind? Well, I asked Gareth about this Azure person and learned more than I intended to know. Apparently, she had a thing for Gareth long ago when they were in training together. She confessed her feelings for him and he turned her down at the time. He said he wasn't sure about being in a relationship with someone because of his family and how bad things in Ocasus had become. I just find this information interesting. How did that even come up? Mm. I guess it's because some. I guess it's been something that's been a guilt on Garth's mind. I don't think Azura knew that Garth was a son of the Lord of Ocasus, so she probably thought she wasn't good enough for him or something. Though I'm glad they're on good terms now. Otherwise, I can see this talk of an alliance going south way fast. Um, are you still confident in this alliance, Lawrence? What other option do we have? Again, I'm not saying we have to go to war. I just want to make sure we have a backup plan if the Ocasus Alliance decides to take up arms. Let's not worry about this right now. We'll talk more about it when everyone is accounted for. Let's sit tight until then. Alright, yeah, we can do that. <sighs> I just hope, I really hope Azure gets here soon. I really wanted to leave to Phoenix Drop today, but I don't know anymore. Garth? Anything? Azure is coming. She is? How long has it been since he's been out? Uh, I... I presume ever since he left Brightport. Yeah, I mean... I'm pretty sure that's how long we were out, so it's been about a week? A little more than that? How did you wake up, Lord Luke? Hmm... I, I don't know. I felt a strong presence outside my slumber. It was probably Lucinda. Uh... What? Despite how horrible I've been to her, she still loved me. I felt that, and... It's love. What? Uh... I, I mean, it's just a theory of mine. You see, when I was turning, the only person I thought of was Lord Afmao, and yes, I know it sounds kind of cheesy, ugh, but it's the only thing I can think of, having gone through the experience myself. Ah, uh, I see. L Lord Bert, I... I love you. Oh, wow, um... Uh, it... It didn't work. I was sure that was it. Maybe if you kiss him, it'll break the spell. Oh, oh wow, I, I can give it a shot. Oh, okay, uh, <laughs> Um, darn, I was sure that would do it. 
Huh, Azra, do you love Lord Bert? I am Lord Bert's guard. Of course I love him. Azra, the, think of the way you felt of me long ago. Do you love him like that? No, I don't love him like that. I love him in the sense that I need to protect him and would do anything, even kiss him, to do so. Then we need to find the Shadow Knight who performed this ritual on Bert and find out how to undo it. But how are we going to do that? The village of Picaro is probably swarming with guards on high alert. Lord Luke, do you have any idea who in your village might be the Shadow Knight? I honestly haven't a clue. How do you know it's someone from my village in the first place? Shadow Knights cannot be controlled unless it's by another Shadow Knight or they are working solo. Someone from Ocasus wouldn't trust a Shadow Knight within their ranks if they aren't guaranteed absolute control. It has to be someone in your village who is acting on their own. I see. I have a plan. Lucinda, if I may ask that you can cook up a few spells for Lord Aphmau? Sure. What do you need? Uh, really? Wait, so exactly what is this plan you guys are talking about? Lucinda, what's going on? Lawrence is a pretty smart guy. So, are you ready to hear the plan? Yeah, tell me. I'm going to disguise you yet again as an owl this time. You'll take Lawrence inside a lasso, and together you two will go to the village of Picaro and find the Shadow Knight who did this. Wait, why does Lawrence have to be in a lasso? Can't you change him into an owl as well? It's going to look weird if two owls are following each other, don't you think? Kind of ominous. Anyway, since Lawrence can sense other Shadow Knights, you can do the legwork and he can focus on finding them. Sound good? Yeah, sounds like a great idea. Alright, let's do this. Wait, yeah, don't I need to eat some kind of soup or something, like, before when you turn me into a wolf? Nope, owls are easy for me to conjure up without their essence, hence why Bigglesworth is my familiar. Now, here we go! Alright, turn me into an owl! <laughs> I am so sure to get- <laughs> oh, oh, look at me, I'm so cute! Oh, <laughs> I'm a big owl! That's so cute! Can I fly? <gasps> I can fly! <gasps> oh, that's so cool! <laughs> okay, wait. Can I talk to Bigglesworth? Bigglesworth. Hey there, looking good. <laughs> that's so cool. Lawrence, all right, are you ready to go? Haha, <laughs> what a cute little owl, he pets you. Well, what are you waiting for? Put me in a lasso and let's get going. If I sense the Shadow Knight, I'll come out and confront them. All right, awesome. Yeah, all right, let's go, Lawrence. We can do this. Oh, is Logan okay? Well, I guess I really shouldn't. Let's see. Since I can fly and I'm an owl. Ugh. All right. Uh, so. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, if we come down here. Just like that. All right, so we gotta go to the village. And let's see. Um, Malachi is still sleeping. That's interesting. All right, well, yeah, I guess he can sleep a lot. So let's go to the village and I <laughs> just. I'm an owl. <laughs> I love it. I want to I want to have like a little owl adventures now. And oh, there's another. Wait, that's a bird. That's a bird. Can I can I touch the bird? Hello bird. I'm a bird as well. Uh <laughs> All right, I'm having too much fun with this. I got to get going. We got to go find uh and see if we can wake up Lord Bert and do this immediately. I I will never get over this. This is another chicken. I I feel like I could talk to all the birds and just Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Let's see. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, let's see. All right, Lawrence, you got to do your sensing thing. It looks like everyone's in their house right now, so I'm going to have to go into the houses if I could just be sneaky about it. Um, okay. All right. Enough looking at how cute I am. Let's just go into the houses and see if we can find the Shadow Knight we're looking for. Um, hopefully nobody will notice an owl conveniently going up to the door. And, uh, opening a door, you know, because that, that's not weird at all. <laughs> um, unless owls are trained. Maybe I could just bust through the window. Anything, Lawrence? Nothing? Okay. I would think it would be that kid there, but I don't know why. Anyway. Um, let's go through here. Um, how about in this house? Nobody sees this owl. These, these guards are really dumb. I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna be honest. Anything? Um, let's see. How about in here? No? Come on, Lawrence, say something. Lawrence, anything? Lawrence, yeah, nothing from any of the houses. Hmm, interesting. Keep on looking. If a Shadow Knight is here, we'll find him. Okay, all right. Um, <gasps> yeah, the priest! 
Yeah, I, we, I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not cat- <laughs> I'm not putting all priests together or anything like that, but what about this guy? Is- is he bad? He's not that kind of priest, it seems. He's a good guy. Keep looking. Okay, um, where else could I look? Uh, ooh, what about up here? Maybe somebody's hiding up here? Oh, the tavern? Oh, yeah, the tavern. I gotta- I gotta keep an eye on the tavern. Just to, you know. <laughs> uh, let's see, anything up here? How about in here? Anything? Anything? Uh, I can fly, so it shouldn't be such a big deal to just look around. Um, tavern, tavern. Let's go to the tavern. Tavern's the next place I want to check out. Um, just don't notice this owl conveniently flying over your head into the tavern. There we go. Okay, all right. Do, do none of these. <laughs> I'm surprised. Maybe everyone's just drunk. Maybe that's why they don't really care. Okay, that guy's looking at me, but. It's fine. I'm gonna stay away from those guards, but let's go check upstairs and maybe Lawrence will be able to to tell us if someone here is, you know, anything, anything at all, anything, Lawrence, Lawrence, I know you're, you can hear me, can you at least tell me if any one of these, like, people are not good, people that we should be concerned about or something, you know, because... That's what we're looking for. Anything, Lawrence? Anything? Oh, he said something. Nope. Nothing here but dumb guards and people down on their luck, it seems. This place is weird at night. Aren't the people on a curfew, or do those guards not care? I, I guess so. I guess not. Anyway. Alright. Uh, okay, alright. <laughs> Let's ignore that. Um. Ooh. Oh, wait! That guy! That one guy! That, um... Let's just see if I could do this. And maybe just sneak past this guy right here. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. <gasps> that one guy! That one guy upstairs, all the way at the top! He looked... He looked shadowy, and nighty, and not nice. This guy right here! Yeah! Here, this one, right here. I can see why you might have thought this guy was a Shadow Knight, but nope, he's not. Uh, really? Not even... An owl? What the- Oh, no, 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 I don't- <laughs> You're the first person to- Well, he may be some kind of magic person, but still, um, okay, let's see. Um, where are the innkeep and his wife? Maybe they know something. Um, let's see. Oh. What? You're kidding me. It's... her? What? Lawrence? You can't have her. I won't let you. We're not here to hurt her. She didn't do anything to those lords. She didn't want to. It was those guards who made her do it. They said they'd tell everyone who she was. Uh... Sir, calm down. I am a Shadow Knight as well. What do you want? You can't take her back to the Nether. Lawrence, these are good people. I would never dream of taking your love away from you. However, she was the one who commenced the ritual on the Lords. She's the only one who can wake them. I can't wake them. What? Uh, I, I wasn't alone in making those altars and performing the ritual. The High Priest was there as well and used his magics to help me perform it. I'm afraid I cannot wake the Lords by myself. I see. Well, then we will leave you alone. Sorry to scare you. What do you want to keep quiet about my wife? What I want? Yes, name it. I'll give you anything. We don't... We don't need anything, Lawrence. I want you to never stop loving her. Let's go, Lord Aphmau. Lawrence. Alright. We're sorry to bother you. Ugh. It's raining now. Alright, let's get out of here. Quickly. I hope those owl- I hope those guards don't notice an owl coming out of the- <laughs> Coming out of the- the inn like that, but whatever. Alright. <sighs> Let's head back to Lucinda's cottage and... <sighs> Lawrence. <laughs> Alright, um... We have to- uh, That means we can't wake up Lord Bert. <sighs> that was a complete waste of time. We accomplished nothing. Lawrence, that was incredibly nice of you to do that. 
<laughs> I'm a nice guy, I guess. No matter. We need to tell Azura. I can imagine this is not going to be pretty. At all. You want to deliver the news, or should I? I'll go ahead and do it. Alright, let's go. And that's what we found out. I'm so sorry, Azra. I... I don't know what to do right now. It's... I am so sorry. I will take Lord Burt back to Brightport and try the help of any magics user, doctor, witch, shaman, anyone, anyone who can help. I'll try to ask them for help. Azra, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, Lord Afmal. It's mine. I was foolish to allow Lord Burt to leave my sights. I don't know what I was thinking. I thank you for taking the time to find him. Consider us a temporary member of your alliance until Lord Burt has an official say in it. Now, we will take our leave. It's a long travel to Brightport. Safe travels to you, milady. Alright. We're gonna head to Phoenix Drop, so whenever you're ready to leave. Oh. Lucinda. Oh. Well, I guess this is goodbye, huh? I'm gonna miss you, Lucinda. I'll miss you too, Afmao. It was incredibly fun. More fun than I've had in a while. Say, maybe once I'm done spending time with my dad and take back Picaro Village, I'll come and visit you in Phoenix Drop. Sound like a plan? You better, that sounds great! Haha, <laughs> great! Safe travels to you guys. And it was nice to meet you, Lord Bur Lord Luke, sorry. <laughs> Almost mixed them up there. Afmao, consider Picaro Village an official member of your new alliance called... Ahem, <clears throat> what's it called again? Um... <laughs> it's called the Phoenix Alliance. Erm, um, the Phoenix Alliance. <laughs> I love the name. It sounds strong. Together we will change the world. I'm positive Lord Burt will join once he wakes, so no need to worry about them. Safe travels home. I've got to get back to my home and take it back, which will be easier now that we're in alliance. Haha. <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> Alright, everyone's waiting for me downstairs. Oh, we gotta get Logan, too. That's right. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, Bigglesworth, it was nice to meet you, and talk to you while I was an owl. Thanks for saying I looked too good as an owl. I'm glad that was, that was something. Logan, oh, you're up! I'm so glad! How are you feeling? Afmao, thank you so much for everything. For getting me out of that prison, just everything. Don't even mention it, Logan. <laughs> so what's this I hear about us going back home? Uh, we're going, we're going home whenever you're ready. I'm ready now. Nothing will make me feel better than seeing my Donna's face. Let's go. Carry me in a lasso. All right. <sighs> oh my gosh, it's gonna feel so weird heading back home. I'm so excited to see Levin. It's gonna be a long journey though, I can already tell. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Everyone's here. Um, Gareth, it's going to be a long journey home. I just said that. <laughs> if we start now, we can be back at Phoenix Drop by tomorrow night. Are you ready to depart? Not yet. Let me just make sure everyone else is okay. Mount your horse when you're ready, my lord. I'll wait here. Okay, all right. Dante, so you think I like Phoenix Drop? You certainly will. Heh, <laughs> good to hear. I'm excited to help make the village a better place, my lord. <laughs> Lawrence? Man, I can't wait to get home and have one of Kawaii Chan's cakes. They're amazing. She brought me one once when I was blind, you know. Couldn't see the thing, but it tasted like heaven. Say, you and I should share a cake when we get home. <laughs> I think everyone should, Lawrence. Not just you and I, but still. Malachi? Garth was telling me about my little brother Levin. Do you think he will like me? Of course! He'll love you! Yay! I'm so excited to play with him. <laughs> I'm ready to go when you are. Alright, okay. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get on the horses now. It's been such a long journey, but I'm ready to go home. And maybe we'll stop by the wolf village to make sure that Kiki's okay and that everything's okay there and that everything's just fine. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. We're going to start our journey home, and we will continue as soon as we are good and well on our way. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one, and until then, take care. Bye-bye!